In this video I'm going to talk about seven household items you can probably use as build plate. I don't know which one of these will work. That's something we are going to find out in this video. Yeah, a piece of uh, standard carpet, a wall tile, sanding paper, a pizza box, this board, uh, which is uh, cork, this kid's drawing, so that's a standard piece of paper, and of course. A shirt. This is basically a follow-up of a previous video I've made about the cheapest build plate ever. If this uh, sheet of kids drawing will work, then this is probably cheaper. In that video I've used a MDF plate to, uh, to print on and it worked. I didn't intend to make that video. I was working on making this uh, this T-slot plate. I thought well maybe I can print on wood so I tested that and made a video about it. So that's why I'm not going to use wood because I already know that wood works. Okay I have all the print beds, this piece of carpet, tile, the kids drawing, the shirt, the pizza box, this uh, very very cheap cork well, it's like a layer of one millimeter thick and the rest is just cardboard. Hopefully this will work. And I have two sheets of uh, sanding paper, P1200 and P180. I'm going to walk you quickly through the experiment. Um, I have all the materials here. And I have a document. Well, one to nine are all the materials I'm going to print on. And here are the four uh, yeah, the four materials which I'm going to print with. Uh, I'm going to give uh, all of them a rating and that rating is from 1 to 10 and that rating uh, defines how well the, um, yeah, the part sticks to the bed. And the materials I'm going to print with, uh, I'm going to start with uh, PLA, then the PETG, also from ESAN, this real filament uh, ABS and the carbon fiber reinforced nylon filament also made by ESA. I'm going to use the uh, Ender 3 Pro for the PTG and PLA. I'm going to use the standard hot end it came with. I have already mounted it. And for the ABS and uh, nylon I'm going to use this uh, E3D hot end. And I'm going to print the design made by Makers Muse. Link in the description. That's it. Start printing with the PLA. Wish me luck. I've placed the pizza box. Yeah, let's start the first print. Yes, here we go. <laughs> I am right now printing on a pizza box. <laughs> it's st stuck to the box quite well. Uh, better than I expected. Okay. 
Hmm. All right, this is the 12B1200 sanding paper and I had high hopes for this one but as you can see it curled it curled up a bit this proves that this model works and now we'll get this coarser uh, sanding paper and do it again Right now I'm printing on a t-shirt and it stays in place. It's interesting because it is curling but it sticks to the shirt. I'm going to stop this print because I already know that this is not going to work. I just have printed on a piece of carpet. <laughs> Okay, I didn't expect that this uh, this would actually work. Now well, let's see if I can get it off. <laughs> the surface is not that smooth. I didn't expect that. But I must say... <laughs> this is um, the way it came off. <laughs> The best result so far. I'm now going to print on this piece of pinboard. Okay, I'm going to do it a little bit different than I said at the beginning. Some materials aren't obviously suitable for uh, using as a build plate. I don't think it's needed to test these materials with other filaments. The same goes for the pizza box on both uh, sides. You'll just uh, rip it apart. And the same thing goes for this kids drawing. But I think I have a neat idea what I'm going to do with this uh, phenomenon. At this moment I am printing on a wall tile with PETG and it looks very promising. I have to say that I have used this lac because otherwise it will not stick at all. And I have turned the heat of the, uh, the print bed to 60 degrees. Well, it printed beautifully. Awesome. And it didn't come loose. <laughs> it's still warm a bit. Awesome. This is exactly what I'm looking for. I have everything set. The bed temperature is 60 degrees. I don't know if that is going to help. I will just start it. And I'm going to start printing PETG <laughs> on a piece of carpet. Ah, yes. <laughs> One other um, funny thing. Oh, oh sh! <laughs> oh, stop. Okay. Um, ah, good. Oh man, the pieces of carpet are on my nozzle. Don't know if you can see this, but it has carved all the way through this carpet. So that's not good. So if I do the auto homing uh, position. I have to move it 5.8 millimeters. That's the thickness of the material. Don't forget to do set home offsets. Okay. Um, one nice uh, thing about this carpet is that it it cleans your nozzle <laughs> while printing. It did come loose here at the front. No. This is not the way to go. It was a nice experiment though. It almost destroyed my printer, but that was my own fault. Because I simply forgot to enable an offset. So at this moment there is just one material left. And that's this wall tile. I must say that I am yeah, a bit surprised with how well this wall tile works together with this, uh, this 
3D lag. So I think it's um, time to, yeah, to test this material with ABS. I have finished printing with ABS and I must say that it came out better than I, had, I have expected. I don't have the, um, the patience to, uh, to let it cool down. So I'll just... Okay, last uh, thing I'm going to, yeah, to print is the carbon fiber reinforced nylon filament. I honestly have to say that I hoped that I was at least able to print ABS and nylon on at least one of these materials. It looks like, well, see for yourself, it looks like this is going to work. The ABS worked, but this is specially designed for warping and I didn't have, I didn't print this with the brim. So I think that proves that it's possible to print ABS on a tile. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely considering ditching the glass plate. To some of you this um, seems familiar. My old um, place where I recorded my first videos. This is where my computer is and I'm going to show you my neat idea what I'm going to do with the fact that it's possible to print on paper or to 3D print on paper. I'm going to make a seal. I already have a nice envelope and I'm going to um, yeah, put this on the bed and just print a seal on it. Yeah, I started out with this uh, yeah, some kind of modeling uh, thing but one thing I do know that I really suck at this so I've chosen to, uh, yeah, to do it just the old fashioned parametric way. So my first sketch is just a defined circle. This is a, a spline. Yeah, it's just a simple two chamfers and my logo. So this is uh, a lot easier than uh, this kind of, uh, I don't want to look at it anymore, don't save. And I'm going to write something here, but I'm not that good at writing. And therefore I have this pen holder. Hold on, I think the nylon is finished. Okay, let's see how it came out. Awesome. It's perfect. Nice. I have printed four materials successfully on this tile. <laughs> I'm going to write some stuff down and I'm going to print the seal on the other side. My goal of this video is to do some experiments and I didn't know which one of these materials actually worked. Doing these kind of experiments while doing so you can come up with different ideas. I haven't uh, intended to uh, to print a seal on an envelope and I think it's, it's awesome to do so. Now, if I didn't do this experiment I, I never came up with this idea. So that's one thing I want to give you, just stay curious and try to, uh, to do new things. Even if you think that the result is disappointing, there is always a possibility that you come up with new ideas that you never intended before. Thanks a lot for watching guys and uh, see you in the next video. Bye!